Okay, in this video, I'm going to make my first ROS2 node. Uh, I'll do it using uh, Visual Studio Code. I'll show you how I save things away to GitHub and uh, get the initial node going. It's just going to be a subscriber node to the twist message. And then I'm going to add in the serial interface to my uh, base motor controller uh, and then test that out. Uh, probably after that, the next two videos will be about adding in publishing to that node so I can publish uh, the pose and the location of the of the base and then after that I think I'll make a node or a ROS2 action command so I can uh, send the base in an absolute direction for a certain length uh, distance and same thing for rotation I can rotate it uh, for a certain rotation Okay, just before writing my nodes, uh, just go over what the development environment is going to end up looking like. Uh, so I do most of my development on a Windows PC, so this is my development PC here. Uh, but the ROS2 code is actually going to be running on a Raspberry Pi and under um, Ubuntu. And uh, so the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to use VS Code as my IDE. Uh, so I've installed VS Code uh, on the Raspberry Pi and then uh, also installed uh, X Windows and then uh, that way I can uh, start up uh, code under the ROS2 uh, workspace directory and uh, do all my coding for that uh, workspace uh, th through a VS Code X Windows client on my development PC. Uh, the second part of that is I like to use Git and GitHub. Uh, so as well, I set up a, a, a GitHub repository called Sum of DA, uh, our bot manager underscore Ross, and uh, we'll be using that to, to keep a local Git repository and a remote GitHub repository of anything that goes into the source directories of Ross too. And finally, for development, I also use SSH, so either from the uh, Windows terminal uh, session through SSH to the Raspberry Pi, or else also from the, the terminal uh, pane on the VS Code uh, to do SSH to that machine. Okay, uh, to create the code for the ROS2 nodes, I'm going to use VS Code as my IDE, so I need to install it on the uh, Ubuntu running on my Raspberry Pi. Uh, so I'm going to put in the commands shown on the VS Code uh, install page for Okay, let me check whether code is going to work. So that's all good. And it's been run remotely on my machine here. Uh, so now I'm going to set up GitHub for uh, the ROS2 uh, workspace. Now these are the steps I followed to set up my uh, Git and GitHub repository. I'll include the the steps in the description below in the video. Uh, so basically first I changed directory into my ROS2 uh, workspace directory. I did a sudo apt install git to get git onto my machine uh, or onto the Raspberry Pi. I uh, created a new GitHub repository up in the, the web interface of GitHub and called it our bot manager underscore Ross. Uh, back on the Raspberry Pi and the Ross2 works, uh, workspace, I added a git ignore file, so only uh, 
basically the source file for my ROS2 nodes goes up to GitHub's and in that gitignore I, I ignored the build, install and log folders and uh, the Microsoft packages uh, uh, file. And next I did a an echo of our bot manager ROS to a readme MD to basically to make a readme file. I then initialized uh, uh, the new git repository from the ROS2 folder workspace. Uh, so now I had a git repository uh, that did a git add the readme file to the, the git repository. Uh, and then I did my first commit. I called that commit first commit. I did a git branch uh, to make a, a main branch. I did a git remote add origin to connect the git repository to the, the github uh, repository. And then I did a git push uh, origin main to sync the the two repositories, uh, the local git one and the github one. And just by the way, these commands are all what uh, github shows you as the recommended way of uh, uh, connecting to a new repository. So I'm in my workspace. I'm going to make a package for my uh, ROS2 application. So first I'm going to change into the source directory. And then I'm going to use this command. Now let's go through it. So ROS2 uh, is what runs this. It says I'm to do with packages. I'm going to create a package. Uh, the name of the package is going to be our bot manager. And then I have to specify what sort of coding I'm going to do. So this build type specifies that it's going to be a Python uh, uh, code in the package. And then uh, list the dependencies. And I'm uh, going to have three. So first is RCL Pi, which is my interface to ROS2 and Python. And then this geometry messages and NAF messages, I'm pretty sure I'm going to use because I'm going to use things like the twist and the and uh, and other common uh, messages to do with movement. So uh, I'll add those in at the moment. Uh, so at the moment, I'm thinking I'm just to have one package for my whole robotics project. I may find that's a mistake later on, so I may have to. Uh, refactor out of that but at the moment I think I can put all my messages and message types and nodes and everything into one package it'll just make life easier so let's execute this and my package is created so now I've created my package uh, I want to have a quick look of it in uh, Visual Studio Code, and then uh, uh, save it away in uh, GitHub. So I've moved up into my workspace, ROS2 workspace, and I can just invoke code for this folder. And I can see the structure here. So under the source directory, uh, it cr the created this package, our bot manager package, which is another folder. And in there we have various uh, files. So interesting ones that well, the ones that will be interesting to us is this package XML. And we can see things like the dependencies that I added in in there. And uh, setup pi will be useful as well. Uh, but the one I'll be using for creating nodes and messages and things will be in a folder called our bot manager. So, uh, and that's where I'll actually put the Python code for my for my uh, nodes that I create. So let's have a look at uh, the status of source control. So this shows the things that are are waiting for for committing. And let's synchronize that with GitHub. Uh, 
Now, if I go up to my GitHub repository, I should see the changes have been committed up here. So we see the same structure out here and our, our bot manager is ready to go. And the setup pie and the package XML are available here. So that's good. It looks like it's saving away the things I want saved away in GitHub. So we should be in good shape now to start the my first node. Hey, uh, ready to make my first node, which is going to be the base motor controller node. And that's going to talk through serial to that base motor controller Python program running on the Raspberry uh, Pi Pico. Um, to get started, uh, let's start up code. And I added this miscellaneous uh, folder uh, just where I can keep uh, uh, ROS2 artifacts that uh, I use for coding. So the first one I put in there is this uh, template uh, object oriented programming node Python. And it's just kind of the starter template for any new node I create. So let's create the node. So under source, bot manager, our bot manager folder. In here I can create a new file. It's going to be my node. At the moment, it's going to subscribe to uh, twist messages and uh, send serial commands. Later on, I also need it to uh, publish uh, uh, information that it receives back from the serial uh, interface. So there's our new file. I'll paste that in. Save it away. And well, the other thing I'll do is uh, is do a char mod to make it executable. Okay, uh, so I'm going to work on the code, and then I'll uh, next part of this video I'll have a look at the resulting code where I get the serial interface going and the the first subscription to the twist messages going. Here's my first cut of the code for the node. Uh, nothing too much here other than subscribing to a, a message called base command velocity. And then uh, just printing out the details of that as it receives the, the messages. And the second part is to update the setup pi file with the, uh, the, the node information. So let's try out our first uh, node build. So I'll do a Colcon build. And it so let's try uh, publishing to the, the topic and make sure that the node uh, shows what's been sent. So once again, we'll run the base motor controller. So that started. And then in this other SSH session, I'm going to do a ROS2 topic publish to the to the topic and the message. And that looks good. So we're seeing it publish a twist message with all zero values. And we're seeing it reporting on the, the linear velocity and the angular velocity numbers uh, for the x and the, and the z direction. So I've updated my code with the, the serial interface to the base motor controller on the Pi Pico. Um, I won't go into detail of the code, just run through it here, and uh, but it's going to be out in GitHub for anyone who wants to have a look at it. Uh, so I added some constants here, so what the serial port uh, identifier is. Um, I've imported the serial library. Um, I've set a couple of uh, parameters for multiplying the, the velocities and the angular uh, velocities coming in from the twist message uh, to convert them into a pulse width uh, 
setting for the Pi Pico to use. Uh, I do the setup, so I've added a, a check in here to make sure the serial port is present before uh, setting the serial port. And then we get into the, after the, the twist is subscribed to, it's going to do a callback on the send command velocity every time a twist message comes in. So this is where it interprets the twist message, so it gets the, if there's a, a linear uh, x uh, value other than zero, then it's going to first set the direction, whether it's positive or negative direction, i use that later on. Uh, I set the pulse width uh, that I want to send to the actual motor, Pico motor controller based on the linear x times the linear to pulse width uh, conversion. Uh, do a couple of limit checks to check whether uh, the resulting pulse width is less than the pulse width minimum. So usually I don't want to run the motor at less than 10% pulse width. So if it is, then it sets it to to 10 and it uses direction uh, variable here to work out the sign that that should be. If it's greater than 100, then it uh, reduces it to a maximum pulse width of 100. A uh, couple of uh, lines here. So first I just uh, uh, display what the resulting message is I'm going to send through serial. And if you looked at the last video, that's where I go into detail about what the serial interface parameters are. So in this case, it's a run with velocity. Uh, and I send that through through the serial interface. And this is the send serial uh, command. So not much in that. So let's have a look at this work. And so I've got the same thing here for Angular as well. Basically does the same thing, but for Angular velo velocity and has a different conversion because it's in radians. Okay, let's test this out. So I'm going to send ROS twist commands and then uh, watch what's happening on my uh, Pi Pico and the motors here. Uh, so I'm connected to the Pi Pico uh, via my uh, MicroPython interface here. So I can see the commands coming in and what the motors are doing. Uh, we can also see it in the video here. So first I'm going to start up the, the node. So it's successfully started up and it's found the serial interface. So I'm going to start sending some commands. Uh, so I'm going to do a twist command. So I'm publishing a twist command to my topic. Uh, just going to do it once and I'm telling it the x velocity should be 0.25 meters per second in twist parlance. So I'll send that. And we can see it got picked up over here and it's sending the RV command through the serial interface. I can do a set it back to zero. And you see that stops the motor. We see the stop command down here. Uh, let's also try a, a turn. Okay, so in this case, x direction is zero uh, for linear, but angular. And the z velocity is one. Uh, let's run that, and we should see the motors doing a turn. So they're going in opposite directions. So it looks like it's all working. Let's stop that. So one more thing to do on the the node is I also want to send uh, data back from the, the the base motor controller on the Pi Pico. So distance traveled. Uh, uh, pose or the direction that the the robot would be in. Um, send that back to the node and then have the node publish that 